The girls' locker room? We've already searched this place top to bottom! What are you trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. You want to check it again? Sure to examine the entire body very carefully. <laughs> she does have a penis, does she? Examine her carefully? Like using our hands? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious grounds, you know? Very well. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, Sakura. You... You're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. So that we could grope her dead body? No, Sakura's perfectly fine. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. Exactly. So just leave this to me. S Sakura, what is this? Some kind of secret girl-on-girl -girl action? Is that what you two are about? What the? F Who let her loose? That's not it at all. Stop screwing around. Okay, here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. She has a dick. She has a dick. Putting her hands together for brief prayer, Sakura then began quietly examining her body. Be sure to check her entire body. Entire body! Remember! Remember! The entire body! Entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. <laughs> She's going Super Saiyan or whatever. Sakura's eyes with were star staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This, this girl is is what? Is a boy. Ah, I see. So So I was on the right track after all, actually. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. <laughs> I like how he was just common and all of a sudden he just goes out for us. I love you, Hifumi. No homo. See for yourself! There's a ponies! Ben, it's really true? Chihiro was guy? Hmm? Oh what, you guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! Chihiro <laughs> Fujisaki was totally a guy! He was a cross-dresser? Oh, if I were really on fire, I wish I had killed him! <laughs> so that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial! Well, now we know. <laughs> What do you have to say to that? I do apologize for keeping you waiting. I think we should take a break after all that shenanigans. All right, we'll be right back after the next episode of Danganronpa. Now then, let's resume the class trial. We've all Welcome just back. To the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick up from there. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is... Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. To think that Chihiro was actually a guy, so that changes the subject. The killer has to be a guy then. The thought had never cr even crossed my mind, but somehow I managed to get- How the fuck did I even manage to think about that before the actual reveal, actually? Huh, um, maybe it's my intuition or something, I don't know. the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, there should be no issue with- Let me see this real quickly. Hold on a minute. This- did they really say anything about Chihiro being a dude? Chihiro- it didn't say anything, right? Height, weight, name, weight, chest. I guess you could tell by their breast size, but... This is... <laughs> okay, yeah, no. I, I don't... Maybe there is something. Who knows? Oh, whatever. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. But wait, that still makes no sense. Hold on. Before... 
Because she clearly left a stain on- And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girl's locker room. So Chihiro really was killed in the boy's locker room? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is a most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever, we still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Ah, he's off in his own little world. Yeah, the fact that, no, actually now the fact that we've found this out, we still don't know how the rooms were swapped. And not only that, but if it really was a guy, then fucking uh, Missy Genocide Jill here <laughs> would actually have a motive to kill him. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya's the killer? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But, but I... Do we still need more evidence? He might not actually be the killer after all. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? That is true. <laughs> he just seems to be too easygoing about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy, if you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Mark it as correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girl's locker room and decided to alter it. Are you fucking with us right now? No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? Uh... I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Byakuya did it. Who knows right now? Makoto, if there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Exactly. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well, then. I'm with you too. Damn straight. Count me in. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? Anyway, Can I act like a white one? Like one? All as a group one more time. Okay. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's only one thing we can be sure we know about the killer. <clears throat> the killer was able to gain access to the real, mur uh, real murder scene, which means... Wait, hold on. Okay, so the real murder scene, which is actually the guy's locker room. So, shut up. I got it. So it has to be a guy now, since the uh, since the see, uh, since the crime scene was the boy's locker room, you would need a boy's handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have to use their own. In other words, it had to have been a guy. But there's still not enough. I need some more clues. And that's what we're trying to find out. Make your arguments! How many bullets do we got? So let's count. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. 
Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. That is, yeah. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah, that's the last there. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. It's all right. Over. It's all over. That's pretty obvious. There's only really one thing. Saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. And it's not like they're just gonna turn themselves in. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> yes, Akira, come on. No, not game over. Uh, if only I was surrounded by smart people instead. These guys are funny, but... Nobody get a look. I'm sure if someone saw the killer, perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. All we need right now is any... Shit! Oops, wrong button. God damn it, that's quick sword score. Let's try and go that shoot. Actually, I think that's the wrong one as well, so... Isn't there a single clue? Blah, blah, blah. Get a look. I'm sure if someone saw the killer, perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. What's where is it? It's over. If you want to know who saw the, the killer, it's not like they're just. Oh shit! No, it's okay. So it's the, uh, so it's the ninth one. Okay, I gotta remember. God, the squeaky noise is gonna really be Isn't annoying. There a single clue? Uh, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven. Okay, okay. Oh my god! Why do I keep pressing square? There we go. No, that's wrong. So let's saw the victim before the night of the murder. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? <laughs> now we're referring to him as a he now. Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. Makoto? Wait, Makoto? <laughs> like, our name is... That was Makoto. You had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track okay. Duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Well, I better get going. I'm in, I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry, but why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much, enough, so that he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. <laughs> oh, what a marvelous friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. What? Huh? Huh, I do? You know who the killer is. S seriously? Who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Track back and a duffel Are you suit. Sure about that. You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence? Oh, I'm not that smart, Kyo Kyoko. Uh, Why? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? I wish I can. But if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Make certain inferences. Easy for you to say. I know, right? Celeste. Did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I guess. 
can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Shahiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Okay. Does Shahiro's track jacket really hold some clue about the killer? Somehow it's really hard to believe. God, even I'm lost about this. Do tell, Ki Ki uh, Kyoko. So let's count. Just one bullet, okay. I keep forgetting, we could also use um our flashback as well. First of all, we know where Chikiro was headed. Okay. He was on his way to go exercise. Alright. <clears throat> so next we have to ask... Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Mm. What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying... It matched the one the culprit was wearing. wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit! Cause he's exercising sucks! I have a well, clearly you need. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Okay. That really help us get any closer to a blue tracksuit. Who was wearing a blue tracksuit? Not a chance. How the fuck? You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it. You heard him, right? What? What? Did I? She's right. What he just said now is really odd. He. How did he know something like that? First of all, we know what Chikiyo was on his way to go ethics so next we have to ask. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit, it matched the one the culprit was wearing! Matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit. Cause it's just like a I have a white tracksuit personally. Okay. Got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the no. killer? Not a I have no idea. What? What he just said without even realizing it. First of all, we know where Chihiro was had it. He was on his way to get some next. Alright, so exercise, there's no contradiction. Maybe I have to look at the contradiction, okay? The specific tracksuit that it is. What do you right. mean? The specific I got it! It matched the one that comes. So, what the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. Same blue tracksuit as him. I, I don't even have a tracksuit. This tracksuit is black. The exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of Does the color of the tracksuit somehow contradict? Figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. You... First of all, got it from the warehouse. Maybe the tracksuits are only the same color, but his tracksuit is black, so I guess one of them killed. I don't fucking mean. This is getting really abstract now. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. Okay. What you're saying is. The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Oh, wrong button. God damn it. I'm gonna guess on that. No, that's wrong. Is it? Okay, I'm never mind. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said I saw him stuff. I, I saw him stuffing a track jacket in a duffel bag, and then I assumed he headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. Oh! So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you? You just... Oh shit! Celeste, what color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact. It was... blue? Oh shit! Before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then... Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Because I... I just... 
I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died. That's the only possibility. Cherry? Uh, are you tough so? How about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me. And he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's test... We're going straight to the ex exercising place, right? So that's the away from the rooms. Or she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Here you dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said we knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. Oh shit, because I hate him! <laughs> Wait, am I talking about her? The way he was acting? The way he talked? Because I hate him! I actually want to say, say that though, but... There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Oh shit! Such a tiny detail? Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're not <laughs> frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. <laughs> Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? We're gonna have to play that stupid rhythm game again. I... 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 I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me! Judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. Well, he is a criminal after all, right? True. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, mm. this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of league. <laughs> my time has nearly come. Do tell, Hifumi, do tell. My little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Hifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Any leads would be fine, you know. Does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. <laughs> really insist then um here it is what do you have there is that her thing to be her a book handbook. i found it laying on the ground so i scooped it up you found it on the ground right that that must be long it's mine that's your heroes it was the only one that's missing handbook was missing from the scene of the crime right? for a fact for a fact indeed, I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. Oh, come on, really? broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall for all of your confidence. That is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely did the handbooks get broken? 
How did the handbooks break? There's only one possible explanation. Hitting it in its weak point? That's what he said, right? I got it! You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah! You remember that? Uh, uh, sure, maybe I let that slip. But I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... The culprit knows how to break them. We can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? <laughs> You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already! Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Can't you just make a rule of some sort? I mean, after all, you are... Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! Really? I flippin' knew it! Knew it? What? Yeah, cause I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. Oh shit! The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling <laughs> layer of air. Okay, I, I can take the science class in my own college, okay? I don't need to. If the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Mm, interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Besides, what's the point? What's the deal with fucking? Okay. The culprit somehow knew it's weak. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. Maybe through experimentation? What if they found out by accident. What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness? And it broke. They'd realize it was broken, of course. And it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. <clears throat> I know someone who did. Whoa! Seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... <laughs> It had to be the one who wore all their clothes into the sauna. Of course, we now know who it- okay. We'll be right back and we'll select another culprit, I guess. Be right back, even though we already know who it is.